Well, good morning. Welcome back to Tail Three Cabins. I'm down here in Southern Ohio. It's early in the morning and uh, the holes have been dug for the two large tanks that are going in. This is going to be where the water tank goes. On the other side of the house is where the septic tank is going to go. And that's going to be what we're going to be working on today. We're just waiting for the tanks to get delivered. Should be here in about 90 minutes. And then this project will really start taking off. So why don't you check it out? It's a little difficult with the length of his truck plus the length of the trailer he has back on to try to even back into our driveway. So I showed him with the UTV, we took a little ride down the road where he can back that trailer into an open area, disconnect it, and then just bring the truck back. water tank was left on the trailer and this is the septic tank. It comes in two halves, a top and a bottom. The tank is precasted concrete. There is no liner inside. There'll be a gasket between the top and the bottom and it weighs around three tons. The boom on top does not articulate very much, so the truck is going to have to get around this corner and as close as he can to the hole in the ground. Thank you. 
Alright, so that's the septic tank set in the ground, and now he'll have to go back where he parked his trailer and load up the water tank and bring it back over. Since it'll be a couple minutes before the water tank shows up, Sam the excavator is starting the trench that's going to be the main sewer line coming out of the house into the septic tank. Alright, so this is the water holding tank and it is capable of holding 1400 gallons. It is also made of concrete, it also comes in two halves, a top and a bottom. This is the beginning of the week, it's a Monday and there's a lot going on this week and timing is critical on every step of the way, otherwise one little slip up could create a problem down the road for the next things that are scheduled. Now if all goes well, by Thursday evening I should have air conditioning, running water and septic to accept that running water. Now the spring will not be tapped into probably till later this year, but having 1,400 gallons for a holding tank, I can get a water delivery, which is scheduled for this Wednesday for them to show up and deliver us 2,000 gallons of water, 1,400 gallons for the water tank, and then the balance of it will go into the septic tank to just fill up those chambers. 1400 gallons should get us about a month or two of use here. We're not going to be down here full time using the water. And then if need be we could get another delivery and then we'll start working on tapping in that spring this fall. Back to work on the main sewer line. Sam only needs to take this line from the tank into the house and just stub it into the wall. And then on Thursday, the home company is going to come back and make the necessary connections in the crawl space. The next step after the tank will be to put in a distribution box which will handle all the lines for the leech lines. Since it's 
it's going down this hill like that. Yeah. And I assume you're going to have five pipes coming out of here, yeah. right? So how do, how do you not make the lowest pipe get everything all the time? Well, all, all these pipes in here are the same. They're at the same level. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So you okay. run a, you know, one pipe. So one each. One won't yeah. tend to draw one over the other then? Not supposed to. Okay. You know, in, in theory, it's all those holes are in there. They're level. We set the box in level. Yeah. And then they all flow at the same same rate. Okay. But normally, most of the time I see uh, any problems, if there's always like a, you'll have like a, a wad of paper, toilet paper, you know, gets gummed up in the end of it. Yeah. And most of the time you take a shovel and knock it off and it pushes everything out, but. Tomorrow, Sam will have a couple more guys coming in to help out to do the leach field, but this will be it for the work on the septic system today. Over back by the water tank, he's going to fill in the side so it's a little bit easier to work on it for tomorrow. staying down here all week and I probably won't have any running water till at least Thursday. So I've got a little makeshift setup where we used to hang deer. I'm going to use this as my outdoor shower. I'll be hanging up a shower bag that I have sitting out in the sun right now and actually the water looks a little too warm. It says 128 degrees. Over by where the area was cleared out for the leech lines, there are some orange paint lines you can see. And there's going to be five different leech lines that are going to come out of that distribution box. Each line has to stay somewhat level on the hillside, but they're going to be at different elevations. And that's going to start first thing tomorrow morning. These look like overgrown mutated egg crates, but they're going to be part of the leech line. PVC pipe will be run to the beginning of this line. They basically snap together end to end and will be laid in a row. So just a PVC pipe goes at the beginning underneath it and that's it? Or? Yep. Oh, okay. Get the whole tie in, right out on that end. I was wondering, I didn't know what your schedule was, if I could get an inspection um, maybe later uh, in the afternoon today. That hearts their home sign by the driveway too. So. All right, I really haven't decided yet on these videos if I'm going to make a two-parter out of this, if I'm going to make one video just on a septic system and one video on the water system, um, just how it's going to go. So let me explain a little bit. I got here on Monday. I intended on staying the week. Monday, the plan was to have these holes dug. Tanks were going to arrive and we we're going to set the tanks. Tuesday, we were going to resume with working on the septic system and the plumber was going to come 
and he was going to get the water line all set up in here, get the pump in here, get a pressure tank in the crawl space, uh, get a pressure switch in there, and get everything prepped so the house company could just come in and tie everything in. So that's going to be Tuesday. Wednesday, they were going to finish up anything they needed to finish up with the septic system. I had scheduled a water delivery to fill up this water tank. It's going to be 1,400 gallons. And then some of the other water can go fill up the septic tank just so that don't float away in case we had a big rain or something like that. I don't anticipate that would happen. But I'm getting 2,000 gallons of water. I can only put 1,400 in here. So I might as well take some of it and put some more in the septic system. So that brings us to Wednesday evening. So presupposing that everything was going to be taken care of up to that point, then Hartzler Home was going to come back out and basically kind of wrap things up for us. Uh, they needed to install the air conditioner. They were going to hook up the water line because this was going to be established. And then they were going to hook into the septic system and get that all set to go. So Thursday night, I was looking forward to having the air conditioner on and taking a nice hot shower. But right now, uh, the way things went on Tuesday is that uh, a couple parts didn't show up for the plumber. He wanted a special uh, stainless steel pipe, which is one inch. And then he also ordered the pump on a Friday which had not come in yet. So he came here to do what he could. So there's a little bit of drama going on in the background while we're taking care of filming some of the stuff going on here with the water system. And so if he didn't have those parts and he couldn't put that stuff in, I was gonna probably have to call the company that's gonna deliver the water and tell them to cancel or postpone it. We talked about maybe getting a pipe from somewhere else, but it might've been a little bit more pricey. There was no guarantee that um, where he was going to get it from and the second place was going to even have it. They might have to order it also and Then uh, same thing with the pump the pump not being here just kind of made a hindrance So if I didn't get the water delivery, we didn't get the pump in then I got to call the home company and tell them that we cannot wrap things up and then postpone that um, I got a lot of things that are going to be happening in the following week and I'm probably not gonna be able to come down here at least as freely as I was able to up until this point. So I want to try to wrap things up here as, as much as possible this week because uh, I don't know when the next time is that I'll be coming down here. So I'm waiting to get word from the plumber if, uh, if possible that maybe he could do part of the job. So if he can get the stainless steel pipe, he can place this into the tank and he could also run a water line into there and wait on the pump. And the pump can come later and we could not postpone the delivery of water but we still cannot have Hartzler come out and wrap things up with the house. They're going to want to test everything out, hook up the hot water tank, fill that up, uh, make sure there's no leaks with anything. Uh, we did discuss that maybe they could just hook those things up and then uh, the plumber and I could go through the house later, pressure test things and, and stuff like that, make sure there's no leaks. But I don't think Hartzler is going to want to do that because if there is a problem, they want to be able to diagnose it and they'll probably just try to take care of it right then and now. So with the stainless steel pipe that the plumber was going to use, he ordered one inch and what came in was three quarters of an inch. So he explained to me that he wants the stainless steel pipe because he basically puts it on a hanger inside this tank. And this tank is pretty large if you think about it. I could probably stand up inside of it. It's at least six and a half feet tall on the inside. But he puts this stainless steel hanger that's not going to corrode and it's not going to disintegrate like other uh, like other materials might, like PVC pipe or even galvanized steel. Um, and essentially he hooks up the pump so in the future it's got a special fitting on there that pretty much slides off. And if I ever needed to replace the pump, there's no need for anybody to go inside of it. There's no need for anybody to pump all the water out of it. Um, it's basically you slide off the pump and put the, a new one in. So that is the reason why we're waiting on this part for uh, making it a little bit more foolproof in the future if we need to replace anything. So things are up in the air right now. I don't know if uh, I'm going to end up leaving and when I'll be able to come back if those parts don't come in. So we'll see what happens. A little bit of drama, a little bit nerve-wracking because Monday everything seemed to be in order. Tuesday things kind of blew up <laughs> and uh, we'll see if they come back in order again. But uh, that's how we're sitting right now and uh, I'll get back to you when I know some more. Okay, that's going to do it for today. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to these videos. Click on that little bell when you want to know when a new one is coming out. And uh, keep an eye on us. We'll pick up where we left off last week. And hopefully our septic system will be in. I think there's going to be no delays with that. But 
getting the water tank is a different issue. Take care, everybody.